Hey guys, in this video, I'll show you which fuses and relays to check when the engine cranks without starting on a Toyota Corolla. I'll start by opening the fuse and relay box under the hood, which is located on the driver's side. The components in the box are shown on the back of the lid. Make sure to check this diagram when locating components, since they can vary from model to model. Alright, so one very important relay that's required for the engine to start is the EFI main relay. To test it, we can pull it out and test it with a multimeter and I have another video showing how to do that, which I'll link up in the cards. Another way to test it is to temporarily swap it with another working relay of the same type, which is not required for starting, and on my Corolla, the backup lamps relay is a good candidate, so this relay can be swapped with the EFI main relay to see if the engine will start. The EFI circuit also has two fuses that should be checked. The EFI main fuse, when this is blown, the fuel pump will not turn on, and the EFI number one fuse, which protects the mass airflow sensor. There is also one more EFI fuse, which is EFI number two, and it protects the purge control and oxygen sensor systems. However, they're not required for the engine to start. And lastly, we have one more relay and fuse which are required for the engine to start, and they're the IG2 relay and the IG2 fuse. The IG2 circuit controls the ignition coils and spark plugs, so if this relay is faulty or the fuse is blown, the engine will not be able to start. So that's all for the underhood components. Let's move on to the interior. Under the dashboard on the driver's side, there's a dedicated fuel pump relay which is built into the body control module. Since it's built in, we can't test it. However, it does have a fuse which is labeled as IGN. If this fuse is blown, then the fuel pump relay will never turn on, so the fuel pump will never receive power. And if all the relays and fuses are good, but the fuel pump is still not receiving power, then the crank angle sensor could be faulty, so make sure to check it as well. When the crank angle sensor is not working, then the body control module will not be able to sense that the engine is turning, and it will keep the fuel pump relay turned off. Alright, so if after all that, the engine still cranks without starting, there are many other reasons which could be the cause, and here's a list of the most common ones. Most of these problems will be detected by the ECU, and they will trigger a trouble code, so make sure to check the trouble codes. I'll have a video showing how to check trouble codes linked up in the cards. If you found this video useful, please make sure to give it a thumbs up. Your support is really appreciated. And consider subscribing to my channel. I'll be posting more videos in the future. Thanks for watching.